Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am very excited to kick things off right here at the Rink of Royal Oak, which will certainly be the center of the upcoming Winter Blast Festival in Royal Oak that will take place February 3rd through the 5th. We're so excited. I'm the president of M3 Investment Services, presenting sponsor of the rink at Royal Oak, and we are so excited to be here. But there's a lot of partners, more than just M3, that have made this happen and will make the Winter Blast happen. Before I turn the mic over to John, I just want to say that on Saturday we recorded our 10,000th skater here at the rink at Royal Oak so far this winter. What, what a fantastic addition to this beautiful park in downtown Royal Oak for the winter. Everybody enjoy. Can't wait to see you here. How about it for Mike Pensador for everybody? The first to step up as the sponsor of the ring. The first to step up last year as a Winter Blast sponsor and appreciate Mike's support so much. Uh, just a great corporate citizen in downtown Royal Oak on the chamber and making a lot of stuff happen. Thank you so much, uh, Mike. Uh, speaking of the ring, a couple of thank yous first. How about a nice hand for the Detroit Skating Club and she Shelly Meyer and the, and the skaters she brought with us. They'll be skating a little bit afterwards and uh, they will be performing at Winter Blast. And I also want to recognize DTE Energy. Uh, they're a ring sponsor, a festival sponsor, and a special welcome to dear friend Giovanni Loria from DT Energy. How about a nice hand for DT, everybody? And speaking of top community event supporters, our next guest is all that and more to this region. Uh, he has supported many events here in Royal Oak and Detroit throughout the state of Michigan uh, as they continue to bring great entertainment, fun, and good times to us as well as those in the you know Mount Pleasant and throughout the state of Michigan. How about a nice hand for the Executive Director of Sales, Marketing and Entertainment at the Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort, Soaring Eagle's Landing Casino Hotel and Eagle Casino and Sports, Raul Venegas. Hey, thanks John. Who said he likes my sweater? <laughs> I, I need to find that. I don't know if I can find that in my size. <laughs> All right. Uh, first, how about a nice hand for Elise King, who will be performing at Winter Blast on Sunday, February 5th at 7 p.m. Beautiful voice. Love it. Uh, we're excited once again to be presenting sponsor of Winter Blast Royal Oak. The city proven itself to be an outstanding host for regional community events, and the festival made a great choice to locate here just a year ago. Soren Eagle will once again sponsor a music stage featuring some of Detroit's Top bands including The Family Tradition, Larry Lee and Back in the Day, Tino G's Dumpster Machine, The Stone Blossoms, and more. We'll be on site with our marketing team once again handing out some of the best offers out there in gaming, including free play, dining, and hotel discounts. These offers are good any time, but you may want to plan your trip to some of the top entertainment acts we have coming up to the property in 2023, including Kane Brown, Ariel Speedwagon, Alice Cooper, and Brooks and Dunn, just to name a few. Thank you. And speaking of the Soaring Eagle and the Soaring Eagle stage, I want to welcome our friends at Nash National Viking. Yeah, oh, those guys over there. They will be hosting Winter Whisker Wars, a statewide facial hair competition, in case you couldn't tell. And two-time national beard and mustache champion is with us. How about a nice hand for Mike, Mark Burns? Show us what you got. They were a lot of fun last year. They'll be back in uh, Winter Whisker Wars. How about it? You can't beat that. Oh wait, we can. Our next guest is bringing something incredible back to the Winter Blast. And they'll be here for the first time in Royal Oak. And I don't want to take away the thunder and amazement of, of what's actually going to be happening uh, You know, not too far from us. So I'm going to leave it to him, but they've been a great partner with us in the past, and we are blessed beyond blessed to have them back this year. How about a nice welcome for Mike Giorgio, General Manager at Mount Brighton. Thanks so much, John. Uh, my name is Mike Giorgio, I'm the General Manager at Mount Brighton, and I'm super excited to announce that this year we will be back at Winter Blast, and it will be our first time down here at uh, Royal Oak. 
And for those of you who are not familiar, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing down a couple of our snow machines so that we can set them up just south of here on William Street and make roughly about a 15 to 20 foot ski hill right here on the street. And then we're going to be we're going to also be bringing down a number of our top ski instructors and snowboard instructors along with all of the rental, the rental gear you will need to, to, so that we can teach uh, intervals of 15 minute lessons. They'll be free for all. We welcome all folks who are five years or older to come and enjoy. And uh, we're ready to have a blast down here. So thanks so much and we look forward to it. John. Thanks so much. Uh, we have seen this in Detroit and this is a blast. The families and, and the folks that get to learn and, and try skiing and snowboarding for the first time and again just seeing it in a downtown environment snowboarding and skis is going to be uh, pretty cool. Um, with all this stuff going on there's no way we can you know pull off uh, you know this vision get the log logistical and financial support to make it all happen without the City of Royal Oak and the Royal Oak City Commission. They have been an incredible partner and one of the commissioners who's been a great friend and supporter of all things positive in the city of Royal Oak is Royal Oak Commissioner Brandon Colo. Brandon. Uh, thank you so much, John. As you can tell, I've been waiting for the Whisker War. I'm going about a year now, so maybe next decade I cannot compete. Um, so I'm not surprised to hear that 10,000 people have enjoyed this ice rink. I mean, how amazing is this? We're here in the heart of our downtown enjoying beautiful Centennial Cottons. I know my family has used it. I've seen other Rolo families use it. And importantly, the entire region has used it. This is truly a great space to gather. Uh, so on behalf of Mayor Mike Barnier, the rest of the City Commission, I'm proud to announce that Rolo continues to be a sponsor of Winter Blast. This family fun activity brings hundreds of, uh, sorry, thousands of people into the heart of Rolo. 16,000 people visited last year. We're excited to bring them all back this year. But most importantly, many of the events are free. We want people to come out and enjoy this in the winter. We are your entertainment destination. We're the place you want to be. Um, so speaking of free fun things, uh, the Romy Snow Slide will be back. Thanks to Mike and uh, the team at Mount Brighton. They're bringing the snow. We're going to have a 25 foot snow slide that goes down 190 feet. Um, people can come throw yourself down the snow. The big inner tube if you want. Adults take the elbow, make sure you're feeling good. But we're going to have this entertainment. So, Thank you to Mike and the team at Mount Brighton. Uh, we can bring the beautiful space. We can't bring the snow. Mother Nature's not doing it, so his team's going to provide for us. Um, so finally, I also want to thank the city itself, the residents of Royal Oak for hosting this, and then the city administration. Uh, from our chief of police, Mike Moore, uh, director of TPS, Lipsky, and the city manager's office, uh, Paul Gray and Todd Bennett. Uh, it's a real team effort to bring 65,000 people into our downtown. We're ready to welcome you. Can't wait to see you. Thank you. I have to echo uh, uh, Brandon's comments. Uh, hosting events in the city of Royal Oak is like none other. We've been all over uh, the region with festivals and events, and the hospitality here, the logistical support is, uh, is bar none the best around, and uh, that's why a major reason why the events turn out successful. Not only do we have the support of great partners here, but the city administration and all that it takes to pull off stuff like this, uh, you know, the cooperation and collaboration is, is incredible. Um, speaking of collaboration with downtown entities and stakeholders, our next guest has been, uh, has a positive presence in the downtown, has been a great logistical partner uh, as a new major stakeholder in downtown Royal Oak. Uh, he's also on the Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority and uh, has been very supportive with us on the DDA um, to us in many events and good initiatives in the downtown. And uh, I'm very, very blessed to have made his friendship over the last year and to work closely on many great things, Royal Oak, especially with the rink and other events here. And of course, I'd like to hear it from the folks in the audience that are representing Henry Ford. How about a nice hand for TDA Board Director, Director of Regional Ambulatory Operations at Henry Ford Health System North Market, Sal LaGrasso. Who's here from Henry Ford? Make some noise. Home team. Home team. Home team. That's great. Thank you, John. Um, I'm 
behalf of the Royal Oak PGA, you know, it's great to see what Winter Blast delivered to our downtown last year. And we all know we're going to see more of the same. We saw packed restaurants, businesses on Main Street, and a ton of positive promotion for the city and downtown in general. You know, we enjoy collaborating at events with the City of Royal Oak, Commissioner Polo, and the entire Royal Oak Commission. And that includes projects like the Rink of Royal Oak, Hearts, Beats, and Eats, the Winter Blast, and they've all been such a tremendous success to the city. Now, with the other hat I wear today, and, and I should be wearing a hat right now, um, I represent Henry Ford Health. And uh, on behalf of myself, this incredible team here at uh, our Henry Ford Medical Center in Royal Oak, and our executive team uh, with Henry Ford, we are proud to support both the Winter Blast and the Rink at Royal Oak. The activity on the Rink really has been incredible. It's brought thousands of smiles to our patients, our staff, our visitors. And we are so excited that the Winter Blast is returning once again. Specifically, Henry Ford is sponsoring the Ice Garden, which will feature spectacular ice sculptures right here in Centennial Commons. Big thank you to Chad from Ice Creations. Chad! And he is over there. He put together a ice sculpture just now. Pretty amazing. Um, to give you a quick preview of some of the ice themes, we'll have uh, Detroit Sports and Ice, Sleigh Horses, Dino and Gnome Village, uh, brought to life, uh, which will, the kids will certainly love. And then my favorite, a special tribute to the Armed Forces with the sculptures of Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine logos, which will be placed um, on the grass right behind the uh, Royal Oak War Memorial. You know, this new medical center um, quickly found an incredible home right here in downtown Royal Oak. We are so happy to be part of this community, helping to make Winter Blast possible along with great community benefits positive economic impact to this downtown region are the types of initiatives we will always try to get behind. Thank you. And we appreciate the hospitality. Unfortunately, we have a beautiful day. We do not need your lobby for escape uh, today, so it's, it's been great. Um, our next guest and final speaker represents a local business that comes really strong to all events they participate in. Their staff and creativity bring cool acti activations. Uh, that's you, Angela, uh, which makes it extra fun for our guests. And taking the lead and been working with us from the beginning, how about a nice welcome for Chief Corporate Operations and General Counsel from the House of Dank, Mike Delora. Uh, greetings to everyone and a, a hearty welcome from the entire team here at House of Dank. It's absolutely amazing to be back here in Royal Oak. This is our third year supporting a variety of festivals, and, and this really is where our community gathers. And I think that, that is a testament to the community, the members of the community, and, and John himself. When you look at the sponsors that are here today and the vast different industries that they reflect, I think that really is a reflection of the type of community that we have and the type of individuals that, that we have come out at these festivals. So it's always exciting to be here and to do our part. So on behalf of the entire House of Dayton team at our 10 statewide locations, we thank you very much for coming out. Now what are we going to be doing at Winterfest this year? This year we are going to have the largest, warmest comfort tent you can imagine. And we hope in the future we're going to have even more stuff to announce that we're going to be doing in that comfort tent in years to come. But for now, you're going to stay warm, you're going to listen to great music, and then once you're done, it's time to eat, okay? Now I see we got people walking around right now, you don't want to get in on that, all right? We've got Egg Roll Diva, as well as a little donut factory in the house right now. They're going to be out all weekend long. Don't forget, it starts February 3rd. All the food vendors you're going to need, plenty of live music in the house of Dank too. We'll see you there. Thank you. Thanks, and I want to close uh, with recognizing a, a, a few folks that are not here today, um, but are bringing great things to the festival. Huntington Bank is bringing Kids Zone that will feature the Detroit Wet Rays. Yes, they are bringing their activation and lots of activities for families. Uh, the Michigan Science Center and Arts and Scraps, as Mr. Commissioner Cola likes, all free. 
events uh, at the event. And the kids area will be located in the farmer's market parking lot this year. Uh, thank you to Royal Oak uh, DPS, Aaron Flipsky, Shelley, and everyone at the farmer's market for the parking lot space to host the free kids activities. We appreciate it. And the DT kids stage will be there as well. Also, our friends at Baker College are helping us bring in the zip line again, which will be on 3rd Street again. You will not only see people skiing and snowboarding in the streets, but you'll see people flying 34 feet in the air in the streets. So all sorts of things are going to be going up in the air on the ground. And uh, thank you, Baker College. And and we appreciate it, Duran and everyone on the team there. Thank you so much. And I also want to recognize the United Way that will be partnering with us. Uh, one of our commissioners in Royal Oak is tied to the United Way, and we're excited to work with them. A dollar from every zip line ride will support the United Way. They will also be promoting their 211 campaign, which supports people with food and clothing in tough winter months, and, and we'll be out there with those messages everywhere and promoting, taking care of those in need, thanks to the United Way, and, and we appreciate that uh, collaboration as well. And the United Way will have a comfort zone next to the Mount Bright and learn to ski and snowboard. And finally, the last thing I want to mention is to make an evening of it at the festival. Uh, the Hotel Royal Oak is offering the best hotel package that we've ever had here. So if you spend the night in the city, which will be on our website, you can book a special rate and receive winter blast goodies upon check-in. So you'll get a free zip line ride, the things that do cost money, a free skate rental, two hot chocolates, marshmallow roasting, and the few things that do cost at the event will be part of spending the night in the city at the Hotel Royal Oak so you can make a weekend out of it. Uh, we are very grateful to everybody who has made, again, the planning, the build-up, the production, what this event is going to look like happen. It's been months of preparation. Appreciate everybody who has stepped up and everyone in the city who's worked with us to make this uh, event. Again, it'll be spectacular, similar to you know what we're doing standing here on the rink. Just more great times, more good family, uh, more community benefits. So thank you so much. We're gonna roll back the red carpet. We're gonna bring back the skaters. The hot chocolate is open. Grab some food, play some music. Uh, we hope our friends at Channel 4, representing all the TV stations, can uh, grab a couple shots of uh, the ice and food and everything. And we appreciate them being here and WWJ as well. And thank you so much for coming. Everybody, Winter Blast 2023 coming your way. Thanks so much for coming.